In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a linear standard curve by using Microsoft Excel. So I've got Excel open and I've already got some data inside Excel. So what I have is I've performed a BCA experiment. So this is measuring total protein levels in samples. And to do that, you create a standard curve. And the standard curve has known values, obviously. So you've got 2000 micrograms per mil all the way down to 25 micrograms per mil. And I've also got a background uh, sample, which is obviously no standard. So this is the background signal. And then by using a plate reader, you can measure the average absorbance for each of these value, uh, samples. And this is what's indicated in column C here. And then also notice that the background always gives you a very small amount of signal. And then underneath this, I have two unknown samples. Obviously, my objective is to calculate what the concentrations of these samples are by using my standard curve. So I don't know this value. And I've also got the absorbance values for these. So the very first thing you should do is to make a background corrected absorbance value. So what I mean by this is, is to take these average absorbance values and minus the background value because obviously you want to take into account that the background has some kind of signal. So I'm going to do this quickly. Now what I'm going to do is create a new column and just simply call this absorbance. And then what you want to do is in Excel, you want to enter equals, select the, the first cell and then minus the background cell. Another trick that you should do, which will make sense in a minute, is by inserting a dollar sign before the column letter and after the column letter and press the return key. So you notice now that the first standard has been background corrected. The reason why I said to insert these dollar signs is because what it'll do is we want to keep this cell constant. If you use Excel's drag function to drag the formula down, usually it'll incorporate a sequence. So instead of being C11, it'll then be C12, C13, etc. But by inserting these dollar signs in the formula, we can keep this cell constant. So what I'm gonna do is drag this down to copy the formula. So as you'll notice, if you've done it correctly, the background absorbance value should now be zero because obviously taking away 0.0945 from itself is obviously zero. And you also want to repeat this for the, the samples as well, the unknown samples. So now we've got our background corrected data. So the next thing is we need to create a linear standard curve. Now to do this in Excel, simply select the known concentrations as well as selecting the background corrected absorbance values. It's very important you do the background corrected. I'm just gonna hold the control key down on my windows and drag and drop. And what you wanna do is go in the top ribbon in Excel and go and insert. And then where there's these chart symbols, you'll see one that looks like a little scatter plot where it says insert scatter, click this. And then from the drop down, select the top left option. So you'll see that there's been a scatter plot created, but at the minute it doesn't have a line of best fit running through these values, which is what we want to do. Now to insert a line of best fit, you want to go into the design tab. On the left, it says add chart element. You want to click this, scroll down to see trend line, and then you want to insert a linear trend line. So click this. So that looks a lot better. It's quite linear, but it's not very informative to us. So what we next need to do is get the, the line of the equation because to work out the unknown concentrations, we need the equation of the line. Now to do this, if you double click on the line of best fit, what it'll open is the format trend line options menu on the right hand side. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's a few options you can do here. So the very one at the bottom where it says display R squared value on chart, you can click this and move this across. So the R squared is essentially how close your values are to the line of best fit running through it. And this is a value between zero and one, one being a very perfect correlation. Now you can see here that the correlation is 0.9996, which is a perfect line pretty much. The other thing we need is to display the equation on the chart. So the equation is the main thing we need here. So click this. The equation in this case is Y equals 0.0009X plus 0.0017. So this is the equation we need to work out the unknown concentrations. Now it involves a tiny little bit of maths here. So simply what you need to do is rearrange this equation to get X on the other side. 
So to rearrange the equation is you firstly minus 0 0.0017 in this case to the other side. So doing so would give y minus 0 0.0017 equals 0 0.0009x. Finally, all we have to do is to take the 0 0.0009 over to the other side by dividing this value to leave us with x, which is the concentration, equals y, which is the absorbance value, minus 0 0.0017, and then divide all of that by 0 0.0009. So now we have the equation rearranged, we can now find out what our unknown samples are. So to do this, if you go to, I'm just going to enter the first sample in the first cell of the unknown samples box and I'm going to click equals and then I'm going to select the absorbance value which has been background corrected for the first sample so this one's 0.2515 then I'm going to minus remembering from the rearranged equation minus 0.0017 then I'm going to put all of that in brackets and then divide all of this by 0.0009 and then click the enter key so this is the concentration in micrograms per milliliter for this first sample, which equals 277 micrograms per milliliter. If I wanted to repeat the same thing for the second sample, all I have to do is click on this cell and then drag it down. So you can see that that second sample has actually got more concentration than the first sample. So that is how you can create a linear standard curve by using Microsoft Excel and calculating unknown concentrations by using that curve.